the 2021 Ford Explorer XLT. Hi, I'm Tim Bart, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford, Salina, Kansas, where you can find the most in-depth video walkarounds of anywhere out there on YouTube. We call them our complete guides because we cover all the standard equipment, the different optional packages and equipment groups, as well as standalone options. So very thorough videos with these. Uh, that's why I can uh, tell you they are complete guides. So in this video, we are gonna cover the XLT trim. So this is specific just to the XLT. So we're not gonna uh, cover the equipment on the other trims. We're gonna focus in on that. So if you're out there doing some research on your own, wanting to know what's uh, you know, standard, what's in those different packages and equipment groups, we're gonna cover all that in this video. So first time uh, watching one of our videos, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Don't forget at any time, you can always use the timestamps down below. They're gonna actually, if you're on a desktop, you can see those right on the timeline. So you can just click on over to different parts of the video. Uh, again, very thorough. So we're gonna go around the outside, cover safety first, get on the inside, and then we're gonna go into those different equipment groups. If you wanna you know, dive right into those, what's kinda new for 2021 and some of those different equipment groups and packages, couple different packages available now then you can go ahead and flip to those sections of the video. Also, at any time you want to get information on our free shipping, you can do that at the end of the video. I will cover that in depth there. Uh, we do free shipping from here from Law MacArthur on any of our new explorers. So uh, check that information out at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and uh, jump right in. I do like to cover the safety first because this wouldn't be a complete guide if we didn't talk about some of the different safety precautions that Ford has put into place in the Explorer. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump on in and start with that. So let's talk about some of the safety precautions because if you're in an Explorer, you're probably traveling with your family, uh, back row, you might even have some small kids. So safety is gonna be a, a big concern for you for the Explorer. Now, if you've watched the 2020 video from last year where we talked about the XLT trim, all the same safety precautions for 2021, nothing really new uh, for when it comes to safety, but if you haven't had a chance to watch those or watching this for the first time, let's go ahead and dive right in and cover these safety features. So the uh, drive, let's talk about airbags first. The driver and front passenger are gonna have a dual stage airbag. That means it'll deploy a different size airbag Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. It does have sensors underneath those seats. So it knows that position and deploys the correct size airbag. So it doesn't deploy a really big one and hurt you uh, or a small one and not protect you if you're further back and you're traveling forward. Also, you do have driver and front passenger knee airbags. So not just dedicated to the driver, but also the front passengers can have a knee airbag as well to deploy down, protect the knees from any front collision as well. Side impact airbag for the driver and front passenger as well. So it deploys from the side of those seats from that side collision. So side impact, it'll deploy that airbag beside them, protect them as well. Most of those collisions do happen on the front doors. That's why you're gonna see that. Also safety canopy airbags that'll deploy down from the roof along those windows to protect for any rollover. We'll, we'll have a rollover sensor, so if it uh, senses that vehicle rolling over, it's gonna deploy those safety canopy airbags down to help protect from breaking glass coming into the vehicle, protecting occupants that way as well. And that's gonna be for all three of the rows uh, over here as well. So let's go ahead and also talk about some safety precautions when it comes to kids in the back, because we know that's where we're gonna put those, uh, those kids. Uh, you do have the lat system that lower anchors and tethers for children so where you can anchor those uh, child seats into those uh, back into the, those uh, seats there uh, for the second and the third row lat system there to be able to protect them and put those uh, those child safety seats into those that lat system that lower anchors and tethers for children also you do have the the, the locks over here for the doors so these back doors you can lock them out so the kids can't open those if you're stopped or something like that usually once you get started rolling and going it's going to automatically lock the doors uh, shouldn't have any issues with that uh, but if those kids uh, you know if maybe you're stopped and you're maybe talking to somebody or something they can't open the doors and try to get out that way as well so uh, the the rear locks there also a couple other safety precautions this does have the Copilot 360. Um, so with that package, you get a lot of features. A couple I wanna talk about here, and some of them we'll talk about as we move around the vehicle. And the first one is that pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. It does have forward collision warning, 
as well as it does have automatic emergency braking, dynamic brake support, and it does have pedestrian detection. So let's talk about that. That is not front sensing system. Some people have getting, gotten confused in some of my videos in the past. Um, front sensing system actually, as you're going, when you're going slow speeds, is going to be able to sense when you go close to things. This system is not the same thing. This is a forward collision warning. So you have to be going over a certain uh, mile per hour for this to be activated and it's going to sense if you're uh, there's a car in front of you stopped going much slower than you and you're not hitting your brakes it's going to sense that put a warning on your uh, in your productivity screen there on your steering wheel um, just in front of your steering wheel i should say and then also give you a set uh, a bunch of tones that you need to stop and if you don't it will initiate the brake support for you uh, may not avoid that accident but hopefully will lessen the severity of the accident is the goal there also there is post collision braking then also, if you do get in that accident, maybe you're not able to keep your foot on the brake or something, uh, then it'll help brake the vehicle so that you don't keep wandering forward, hitting another vehicle, or going out into the traffic if your steering wheel is turned or something like that. So uh, some great safety features uh, with that. Also, there is a SOS post-crash alert system that honks and horns, flashes the lights if you're off the road in an accident. And you do get 911 assist along with your sync technologies. So when you connect, you have your phone connected, it'll call 911 directly as, so that it'll help come to your safety in those accidents or at least be able to, to connect with you via your phone, Bluetooth connected in there. So it's so a great safety features on the vehicle. Also does have uh, side uh, wind stabilization as well. So this does have e-pass, uh, electric power assist steering. So going slower speeds, you can turn the steering wheel a little bit easier. Going faster, it's going to stiffen it up so it won't steer too much off. But also the side wind stabilization really helps, especially in Kansas. It uh, gets pretty flat in some of those highways and some of those spots, and that wind kind of wants to push you from side to side. Uh, that system will help keep you going on your intended path there and keep you going. Speaking of that, it does have advanced track with uh, roll stability control, uh, and that'll help you keep you on your intended path, slick driving roads, maybe going to curve too fast. It's going to help you by using a series of brakes and the right wheels uh, to be able to slow you down a little bit faster and keep you on your intended path and not have that rollover situation and giving you that rollover control there. So uh, some great safety features. I want to make sure I cover those again. It wouldn't be a complete guide without all these safety features. As we talk about the front up here, I want to talk about some of the mechanical features, plus also some of the front exterior features uh, on the vehicle too. So of course, talking about this one, let's go ahead and pop the hood so I can show you the engine that's standard on these. So to do that, we just pop this latch right here. You'll notice it says pull twice. If you pull it the first time, it's what most vehicles have anymore. But if you pull it a second, it releases it again. You'll see it popped up a little bit. So with this, you don't have a, any yellow bar. You got to look for or try to find the latch anywhere, you know. You just lift it up. And then you have put your support arm up there as well. The standard engine is a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine that delivers 300 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. The only engine available on the XLT trim. Uh, so very capable engine there does come with auto start stop technology. So auto start stop, basically when you come up to stop light stop sign, when you press the brake, it's gonna automatically shut the vehicle off. Let go of the brake, it's gonna start back up again. Uh, purpose behind that, in the past I've said it's for fuel economy, maybe a little bit, but someone uh, actually left a comment on my video and uh, kind of, I realized something because I'm not 100% accurate on some of these. And it is for emissions purposes more than it is for fuel economy. So. Um, and very smart. Thanks for pointing that out. If you have any comments, I love getting those down below so that if I you know, miss something or something like that, I want to make sure everybody out there knows. So it is mainly for emissions. That's why you see so many vehicles with the auto start stop anymore. You have all those vehicles stopped at an intersection. Uh, really does help if, you, if they're able to be shut off, uh, help with some of those emissions that while you're waiting there for those long stop lights. But then if you want to deactivate that anytime, Ford does have a, a disable button. So you just press that the A with the circle around it and it deactivates it for that, that engine cycle uh, if you do not like that feature. So uh, that great having that capabilities. Also 10 speed automatic transmission uh, as well. Shifts it real nicely through those gears. And this does have an auto hold button as well uh, for the Explorer. So if you're on that hill or maybe you're stopped at that long stoplight and you want to be able to rest your foot, you can press the auto hold button. It has like, it looks almost like a little hand there. Press that button, you can take your foot off the brake 
and it'll hold that brake for you. Also helps in transitioning if you're on any hills so that you don't uh, roll back just a little bit if you take a little while to transition from the brake to the gas. So some great features there. Also this does have front and rear independent suspension so give you a great ride getting you through the, any kind of potholes and imperfections on the roads. We have a lot of them here in Salina so I know that gives it a, a much better ride as well as it does have front and rear stabilizer bar too uh, so it does make it very capable. Now these are standard and rear wheel drive but you can get them in the optional four wheel drive. They come with the intelligent 4x4 system with the terrain management system. So terrain management system allows you to just use a dial there to go ahead and uh, shift that through the different terrains of the road conditions. So instead of trying to figure out if I need to be on four high, four low, you know, on those two speed four wheel drive systems, terrain management system makes it a little bit easier uh, with these vehicles, uh, just being able to shift it to those different road conditions. So uh, those are all part of the four wheel drive system. Let's talk about fuel economy for a second. Uh, fuel economy on these for the uh, rear wheel drives will be 21 miles per gallon in the city. 28 miles per gallon on the highway. For those 4x4 models, you're going to see about 20 miles per gallon in the city and about 27 miles per gallon on the highway. Now that really depends on how you drive your vehicle, so it can be uh, vary from that as well as your uh, different road conditions. Remember, those are tested on a track, not in real life situations. Okay, this also does have active grill shutters on the front. So uh, if you look through here closely, see so if I can get a good clip of that, you can see they're open. So allows for more airflow in when you're going lower speeds, helping that engine perform a little bit better. You're going a little bit faster, it's gonna close those active grill shutters up, allow for the airflow around. Nothing you have to do on your part, it's just gonna activate it and it's gonna just open them and close them at will when it needs to, depending on the speed that you're going uh, at that time. So. Uh, great look. Now this, uh, we're going to talk about some of the uh, features here on the outside. A couple of these features uh, that are on this, this particular XLT are actually part of an equipment group, so we'll point that out as we go around this vehicle here. Now first one up here I want to talk about is the grill. Black mesh grill with the chrome bars. You have about four bars through there. Gives it a nice uh, look, makes that chrome pop, and makes it look real special on this XLT trim here. Talk about your headlights. You have LED headlights, low beam and high beam LEDs here with LED signature lighting on the XLT. That's a light that's uh, that bar that's above those headlights. So like that automatic feature means, you know, when it's uh, dark outside, it'll automatically turn those headlights on when you have an auto setting, turn off when it gets light again. Also as part of the Copilot 360 features, you do have auto high beams. So auto high beams work pretty similar to that in that if you have that activated, which it can be deactivated and activated in your lighting setting screen there under the vehicle section, uh, you can, when it, basically when it's dark outside, the high beams will come on. If someone approaches you or if you're in the city lights, it's going to turn them back on. Again, can be activated, deactivated in your lighting section. So a uh, great feature there. Now the LED fog lights is not going to be standard equipment on all of your XLTs. It actually be filled in with this molded in black throughout here. Uh, I'll try to give you a clip off of Ford's website because right now we're not ordering any, any of the base trim XLTs uh, to be able to show you that. So that clip should show you that filled in right there with that molded in black. Also down here, mold, the body colored bumpers throughout, molded in black down here on the bottom as well as the front skid plate. This one happens to be silver. I'll show you a clip of a base, mod, base XLT so you can see the difference in what that looks like because uh, that's going to be black under there and that's helped to take most of the blunt of some of those you know the road imperfections and such the little rock chips that might come up and that kind of thing up on the front of the vehicle instead of uh, chipping the front of the vehicle here is the goal there front license plate bracket is going to be standard equipment in states that require front license plate so you know, always be ordered on in those states kansas is not one of those states so if you want to get a vehicle from us we will always order our stock units with the light front license plate bracket. It's an optional equipment for states that don't require a front one, but it's a no charge option. So we always just order it. So that way we can put it on for any customers that buy from us from out of state or they want a front personalized uh, pla uh, plate of some, some kind like that. So I think I've covered about all the features here on the front. So uh, let's go ahead and move around. Actually, one more I want to talk about, and that's the lane keeping system. Another feature is part of the Copilot 360. Lane keeping system is also standard equipment on the XLT trim. And what's great about that is it has three great features. It has a driver alert feature. So if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often, it alerts you and lets you know that and keeps you alert and aware of what's going on. 
Also, you do have, they're trying to keep you in your lane, so there's, a, there's an alert system and an aid system. And let me break these two down. You do have the uh, alert system, which what it'll do is as you leave your lane, it's gonna vibrate the steering wheel. So if you still will leave your lane, vibrates the steering wheel. There's a lot of other automakers out there that use the same technology. There's also the aid system though, and that helps you keep you in your lane. So a lot of times it'll go and wander, might get close to those lines, but it's gonna use torque vectoring to keep you in the middle of your lane or bring you back to your lane. Um, so that's a couple different features. Now again, lane keeping system is something you can activate and deactivate. Also, you can change from the aid system or the alert system uh, at will through the lane keeping settings in there, as well as activate and deactivate the driver alert system through your vehicle settings as well. So as we move around to the side, I want to show you the standard wheel. This one actually is an upgraded wheel that we ordered on this particular vehicle. The standard wheel on your XLTs will be an 18 inch five spoke sparkle silver painted alloy wheel. We've been seeing that wheel uh, standard for several years now. And uh, so they've elected to keep with that wheel. We'll come with an all season tire and standard equipment as well. And it's gonna come with individual tire pressure monitoring system as well for each one of those tires. So real nice uh, how that set up there. Molded in a wheel lip moldings here. So uh, again, that, that black molded in to the, to the material there uh, on those uh, wheel lip moldings as well as the lower rocker panel down here, this body side cladding. Uh, we're gonna see that as well as back here. So that again, protects it from road uh, hazards and road uh, debris and that kind of thing. Uh, so that you don't chip up the paint as much, uh, keeping the vehicle looking good. Also your mirror caps will be that same material as well on your XLT trim. You will get power mirrors. You also get heat feature to those exterior mirrors and security approach lamp to those mirrors when you uh, use your unlock or intelligent access to uh, open unlock the vehicle. It's gonna cast that light beside the vehicle on both sides. Also, this does have the Bliss system, the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna let you know. It's gonna put a mirror a light in the side of that mirror in that corner there, those two little cars right there, and let you know there's someone in that lane. It's not safe to go in that lane. If you have your turn signals on, it's gonna blink for you as well. Now, also as you're backing up, cross traffic alert. Someone's gonna cross your path behind you. It's gonna put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from. Also put the message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right. And a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So usually when you're backing up, you hit the, you see the tones, you either look on your dash or in the mirror, you can tell which side they're coming from so you know when it's clear for you to continue to back up. So I love that system and how that all works right there. Also you do see body color door handles. So that kind of dresses that up for the XLT trim. Also gives you intelligent access. So you do have a little bit different key fob. So you have an unlock lock button here. You also have a panic alarm so you can try to find it or if there's someone close to your vehicle, you can press that. Also the key is gonna be hidden in there. So you can at any time if the vehicle has a dead battery, you're gonna be able to have that key at all times to be able to put it in that door lock and be able to open it uh, manually so you can get in, pop the hood and start and charge your vehicle, jump it, whatever you might need. If the vehicle is, of course, jump, then you have plenty of battery. You can just be, leave that key fob in your pocket. You just walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock your vehicle using an intelligent uh, access system here. Uh, so that works real nicely. Uh, when to lock it, you just press the lock on the door and it's going to unlock the vehicle as well. Notice the lock on the back door, so it works on the front as well as the back doors. Not all vehicles in the Ford lineup have it on both of those doors. Sometimes it's just the front. I want to kind of highlight that it's on the back doors as well. Also, you do have an invisible keypad, uh, so you can just swipe, keypad comes up. So if you want to leave the keys inside, uh, then you can use the keypad to lock the vehicle, use your own special code to unlock it, to get in and out that way if you'd like to as well. And then we'll show you when we get inside that you don't even have to get the keys out to start the vehicle either uh, with this system. It does have the privacy glass in these side windows and uh, the back windows just keeps it a little bit cooler. Also looks nice on the vehicle too. Molded in black roof rack side rails up here too. So those are gonna be standard equipment on all XLTs. So they're gonna come regardless of uh, what different equipment groups you have. That's gonna be standard equipment on all of your XLTs. And then you do have the easy fuel capless filler door. So you just open this up and then you go ahead and fill it. Uh, just go ahead and there's no cap to worry about leaving, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. You just go ahead and open it, fill it up. It does have an 18.6 gallon of fuel tank there uh, when you're done course take that out and then just shut the door when you're done now um, some people are concerned about people getting putting things into the gas tank there's a double door system there it does have to be the exact size of the nozzles and the fuel at the uh, gas stations there if you run out of gas and you need to use a uh, gas can 
about all the ones you have are not the correct size, you will need to use a funnel that gets you into that, uh, opens both of those doors up for you. So it's a pretty good system. Um, unless somebody out there has that same funnel, you should be uh, safe there and not having any issues whatsoever. In fact, we'll go ahead and move to the back and I'll show you where that funnel is located as we continue to the features back there. So as we move to the back, you're going to see back here a body color rear spoiler on the top, molded in black underneath there with a center high mounted stoplight, rear defrost with rear wiper back here. Also, you're going to notice the applique in the back is going to be a chrome accent here with the Explorer uh, kind of stamped in there. You're going to have your rear view camera, so you're going to be able to see as you're backing up. Also, you're going to get reverse sensing, standard equipment on all of your Explorers. So as you're backing up, not only are you going to be able to see behind you, you're also going to alert if you get too close to anything as well. So I love that feature right there. 4x4s will have the 4x4 badging back here. Of course, all of them will have the XLTs will have your XLT badging on the left side. LED tail lights back here with the amber turn signals back here. So LED low beam, high beam, signature lighting, as well as LED tail lights on all your XLTs. Molded in black on the bottom part of here, just like in the front. Um, also, the skid plate here is uh, silver on this particular model. Again, that's not going to be standard equipment. We'll get into where you get that feature as soon as we cover all the standard features here. This does have a power liftgate, standard equipment. You can use a remote. Just press that button twice if you want to, or you can just press this button here, and it's going to open it up. So that tailgate will power up. Uh, standard equipment on even the base trim, by the way. Uh, but you can adjust this. You'll notice it was maybe a little shorter. If I move that up and then press and hold the uh, lift gate button up here, it'll save it. You hear that little chime, you know it's saved. So next time it'll go on up a little bit further if you want to. So you can adjust it. So if you're a little bit shorter uh, and you can't reach the buttons, you can move that down, save that location and it'll adjust that way. Also, you'll notice there's a lock button back here. So most of your SUVs, you hit that power lift gate, you close it, but then you still got to pull your remote out and lock the vehicle or, you know, press a button. A lot of people, uh, we have an XLT, we do that. We shut the power lift gate and then we, as we walk and by, we just, press and, and lock the vehicle that way. But you can do it back here just by hitting that lock button and then shutting your lift gate if you want to. Now talk about the functionality back here for the third row seat. You do have a little uh, compartment, little uh, flooring here and with a handle, you can just pull that out and it actually removes completely. Real easy to remove. I'm gonna do that right now. Also the left, um, in here too, we put the, uh, the floor mat. So talk about those now. You get floor mats and the footwells of the front seat as well as the second row seat for your XLT trim there. Now in here, you're going to see uh, the cargo where you can put some things down a little bit lower. Also, there's a couple different uh, ways in here that you can divide this. And I have one of each on each side here. One of them is you can create a divider. So that way it kind of separates that. You can put smaller things in there and they won't move them back uh, around in there. Or you can take those out like I did on the left side over here and you can kind of put it over the top and create a flat low level in there, not having those holes for things to roll into if you want to do that. So a couple different ways you can use that cargo. Underneath that floor is where you're going to see the spare tire. So pull that up. Spare tire is inside, not underneath the vehicle. So it is a mini spare in there. So you can just pull that out, change that spare tire. Also the funnel is on the left side towards the back. You'll see it over there in that image. That's where that funnel is for the fuelless entry key uh, or the fuel, <laughs> the easy fuel filler door over there if you need to, uh, if you run out of gas and such like that, that's where that's going to be located. Now let's go ahead and put this floor back in place and the floor mats. And let me show you this third row seat. So the third row seat can fold down pretty easily. I love on this, even the XLT, how easy it is. It's just one strap. So it's not like, okay, flip this, flip that, one, two. You don't have all those numbers anymore. You just pull the loop up. You'll see the headrest go down and then let go and the seat falls forward. So nice and easy. You can do it one-handed even. Uh, if you have some, some stuff you need to put in there, you can do that. So I noticed this left one goes a little bit slower on that headrest because it's new. Uh, so we see that sometimes in some of our uh, newer vehicles when they first come in. So real easy to use. The strap's not too far. It's about halfway. Just grab that strap, pull the seat back, snaps into place. The headrest you will have to manually put into position though uh, that way. So I love how easy this is to use. Um, you know, when this uh, changed in 2020, I made a video and I was just floored on how well Ford, uh, great job on doing that. Also on the left and right side, you're gonna see some little, little hooks you can put bags on. If you want to, loops on the bottom. If you wanna put maybe a cargo net back here, you can be able to do that. And there is a power point on the right side over here. If you need to power any different devices, you can do that through there. Third row seat, 
it's close enough someone sitting back here they can plug in their power adapter for their cell phone pretty easily there and have the even little slots on both sides of the seat to put those uh, those phones in the position there so nice how that works uh, so let's go ahead and move inside now and show you some of the interior features Now moving to the interior, we're going to talk about what's standard on the 200A, it's uh, all of your XLTs. Uh, this one again has a 202A, so it looks a little different, so I'm going to give you some clips off of Ford's website. Uh, the difference between the, the looks, you do have a, an ebony interior and you do have a sandstone interior. So you have a, a dark interior and a light interior. So, uh, so there's again some clips, this actually, this vehicle happens to be sandstone uh, in the 202A, uh, so it looks a little different. So the uppers will be uh, more of a sandstone look to it. Uh, and with ebony on the lower parts, uh, whereas in your ebony, you're going to still have some light slate uh, on the upper parts, uh, the headliner and such, and the pillars, and some other accents on the doors. Uh, so you can see what those different colors are going to be from those clips from Ford's website. Now the standard seats are going to be, oh, also you're going to get silver accents across the dash. So let me give you a clip going across so you can see what the, how the dash looks. The interior kind of looks like on the vehicle so you can see a uh, pretty good look to it silver uh, for the most part for the uh, center stack and your console area so it looks real sharp as well as some accents around those uh, those controls too and on the arm pulls there so i uh, love the interior look the seats will be uh, standard with the cloth seating surfaces on your all your xlt 200a equipment group uh, so cloth seating surfaces you will get heated seat for the driver and front passenger standard equipment on all xlts the driver will get a 10-way power driver seat, including uh, power lumbar. Uh, the seat cushion will go up and down, as well as you have uh, your course power backrest. Now, the passenger seat will get a, a four-way power passenger seat over there, so that seat can go forward and back for you. Uh, so you have those different controls uh, for the uh, passenger seat as well. Now, the second row seat, it's going to come standard with the bucket seats. That's what's the equipment, the standard equipment. We'll get into some different options and different packages in a little bit. Uh, but you'll get the bucket seats there. Uh, it does have levers on the top of those seats, so you can just tip and slide that seat to get to the back if you want to, uh, because there is a console in between those two seats. So you may want to do, use those features more often than to go through the console, especially if there's drinks or anything there uh, in that tray. So there's a floor tray down there cup holders, a little other compartment to put some other little knickknacks in or whatever you might have there. Also behind this uh, console, you're going to have controls for the climate control. There's vents at the top as well as vents come underneath those seats for your climate control. So that can be controlled back there if you want to give them control of that uh, on, the, on the front up here. As well as you will see a, a power point back here as well as a USB port and a USB type C. So USB type C, we're seeing that more and more with some of those different adapters for your uh, newer cell phones. That will charge a little bit faster than the USB, uh, so if you want to use that plug-in, you can right back there. Here on the door, you do have your power windows locks, mirror switches. Uh, the front windows uh, do have the auto feature, so you just press, uh, press hard, and they'll automatically go down for the driver and front passenger window, as well as uh, one touch for going up as well. So you can just hard press it, and you just kind of pull it up all the way, and it's going to go ahead and let those windows come all the way up too. So uh, how those uh, features work is really nice. So your headlight switch over here, I want to show you that. There is a, a button over here to the left of your headlights where you can open the tailgate. So if you're inside, you need the kids to put stuff in the back, you can just open them up for them uh, without having to get out of the vehicle. Also, you'll notice on the auto headlights, I want to show you this. When you have the vehicle, maybe you have the headlights turned off or maybe you have them completely on and you shut the vehicle off, it's going to automatically, when you turn the vehicle on, go to auto setting automatically. So that's just to make sure your headlights are on. So I'm in a situation where maybe it's kind of in that, maybe it's not very evident that they need to be on. It's kind of a safety precaution there that Ford's been doing uh, as well. And, and then the brightness for your interior dash is going to be right there to the right of those buttons as well. Leather wrap uh, steering wheel is standard equipment on these, so I love that even on XLT you get leather wrap steering wheel. It does have a manual adjustment for the tilt and telescoping, so you just pull this lever on the left, and it'll go up and down, forward and back, so you can get it just right, no matter what size driver you are there, and then relatch it. And then on the left side over here is going to be your cruise control at the top, so that's where you control uh, your cruise. And then below that, you're going to have some audio controls to be able to, to, for your volume uh, right under there, including the mute button right there. 
to the right side at the top of that you do have the controls for your productivity screen it's a 6.5 inch productivity screen here i love the look of that i love that you get that little bit bigger than a, the, the smaller 4.2 from the base trim uh, and so that's where you control a lot of those features right there and then below that the chrome below that chrome button or uh, chrome accent is where you're going to control your making and receiving phone calls using the sync technology in the vehicle so push button starts right here so don't get to have to get the keys out of your pocket to get in or out or to start the vehicle so it's nice having it right there for your climate control it does have of course your heated seat buttons are on the outside towards the driver and front passenger you do have a dual zone climate control here so the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures uh, which is really nice auto setting as well and there's a rear control there that's where you would be able to control the rear climate for them either controlling it for them or giving them control by pressing that in and seeing and showing that up on the screen talk about that you do have a eight inch touchscreen here it is had does have the sync three system uh, with all the great connectivities uh, for your audio your phone all those features there your backup camera coming to you on that full eight inch touchscreen there also get Sirius XM satellite radio standard equipment uh, as well as the sync uh, features with the four pass connect uh, that is free as long as you own the vehicle where you can stay connected to your vehicle using the four pass app uh, free app you download you can remote start your vehicle from anywhere unlock and lock your vehicle schedule remote start times locate your vehicle some great features within that four pass connect there and there's a little trade right below the screen which is kind of nice if you want to put cell phone in there or keys whatever it might be you can slide those in there it's kind of a, a grippy uh, material so they shouldn't slide around too much right there your day night mirror is a manual adjustment so you just flip the lever uh, if some cars come up behind you with those bright lights you just flip it down uh, so that you can uh, see a little bit easier and those lights don't blind you there also the overhead console you know it does have a sunglass bench you just flip it down put sunglasses in there if you want to store those in there uh, also you're going to see controls up here for your interior lights and also this in here has the optional moonroof we'll get to in just a minute when we talk about optional equipment here now i'm moving back down to the console area there's a media hub down in here there's a little uh, chrome accent you just press that it's a button actually and then you have access to the media uh, hub down here's what we call it and then in there's where you're going to see a powerpoint as well as a usb port and a usb type c so just like we did see in the back down in here as well it does have a nice light in there to, to light it up so you can see what's going on down in there big compartment too to put a cell phone all kinds of things down in there as well wallet whatever it might be for those long trips you do have the rotary dial uh, shifter here so you can just uh, just turn that where you need to behind that you do have your parking brake uh, and then that's the hot to hold button I showed you earlier is right behind that and then uh, with the drive modes here uh, this does have the intelligent acts uh, the terrain management system here so you can see you can just shift it to those different drive modes but the buttons around that you do have that auto hold button uh, or I'm, I'm sorry the auto start stop deactivation button is right there as well as your traction control and since this is a 4x4 forgot to mention you do get hill descent control with all your 4x4s and then Hill Start Assist is standard equipment on all uh, rear-wheel drive as well as four-wheel drive uh, vehicles, but the Hill Descent Control button is uh, right there for those 4x4 models right there. Cup holders here and a little slot as well, and then even a little slot here. Plenty of places to put the cell phone and keep it tucked away, but yet close uh, to if you need to. Padded armrest that's a console cover, so you just pull that up. You do have a tray that you can pull out pretty easily, put small things in there if you want to, and then a little bit bigger compartment to put some things in down in there as well. And there is another PowerPoint in there as well, and then even a cord to come through for those different, uh, if you want to power those different devices in there as well. So plenty of ways, what, three, uh, what do we, three, four, uh, Four power points in the vehicle you have two usb ports and two usb type c ports in the vehicle plenty of ways to stay connected with your vehicle now that we've covered everything as part of what they call the standard package the 200a let's talk about what they they talk they call the high package or the 202A equipment group. Ford does say about 82% of their XLTs will be built with this 202A equipment group on them. Uh, so if you're looking out there at dealers, uh, more than likely it's probably gonna have this package on there. Uh, but if you're ordering it, you know, if you wanna order it, your special order, you can do that. So that way you kinda know what this package includes. So this package does include a couple of exterior features we kinda tried to uh, go over, allude to earlier. Uh, that's the front and rear skid plates. They're gonna be silver painted when you go up to this equipment group and on the front you're going to also get led fog lights to go along with your led 
headlights, low beam and high beam. So uh, that's a great feature on the outside. You also get remote start on the remote. So you don't have to use the app to remote start your vehicle. You can now start it with the remote uh, and it just has that two with a circle around it. So uh, you would just, uh, course lock the vehicle and press that twice remote start the vehicle if you want to so the remote start will come uh, as part of that too big uh, a lot of the features that are on the inside have to do with the get, upgrading you to the leather interior we've seen that for 2020 model year as well where you get the leather the what I call them leather they're called active X seats as you can see with this these uh, images here they are uh, I consider what I would consider leather seats. I have a XLT Expedition with ActiveX seats. I feel like they're leather um, and they will wipe clean pretty easily. Ford's reserving the word leather for their premium leather seats in your limited and when you move on up to platinum. Um, but these, I don't think you got, I, most people probably wouldn't tell the difference between these ActiveX and what those are. So they're more active style seating. Uh, you will see some cloth on the side. That might be another reason why they don't call it leather. Heated steering wheel as well is going to come uh, part of this package. So you get the heated seats, the ActiveX heated steering wheel to go along with that. And the passenger seat is upgraded from a four-way to an eight-way power seat adjustment. So you have that backrest as well as the seat cushion that's going to be powered uh, full power that way. So some great features as you go up to this. Also, uh, something I almost forgot, uh, when you standard equipment on all of your XLTs is acoustic laminated windshield up here. Makes it a little bit quieter from wind noise and such. But when you go up to the 202, you also get the side windows that have that same material too. So it makes it even quieter, in this, especially in the front seats from wind noise and going on the highway and that kind of thing, keeping a little bit quieter inside. Now I wanted to start talking about some different packages and first I want to talk about two packages available on the 200A or the 202A equipment group before we get into the more popular ones that are available on the 202A. First one to talk about is the tow package. So the class three trailer tow package, so this vehicle does not have it on there, but we're going to talk about this. So this is going to give you that hitch receiver. It's also going to give you the wiring to go along with that. So you can wire that to your trailer uh, and it's going to give you up to 5,300 pounds of towing capabilities with this 2.3 liter engine. So uh, 5,300 pounds with the tow package. Uh, it's going to be up to 3,000 without the tow package if you just added a uh, receiver hitch to this one, but with the tow package, you're going to get upgraded uh, for that uh, capabilities. Uh, so uh, pretty good capabilities for that. Also, you're going to get the select shift with the paddle shifters that are going to come with this package too. So now this does uh, all the all the explorers do get the 358 non limit slip uh, rear axle for the front wheel drives as well as the all wheel drive. Uh, so that's going to go, of course, already be standard equipment on these, but I want to kind of point that out since I did leave that little bit of information out earlier. So tow package, something again available on either the 200 or 202A equipment groups. Now we're going to about talk about another option that's available on the 200 or 202A equipment group. It is a package that includes three features within it, uh, and that is the cargo management system. So cargo management system is going to give you a cargo net. I mentioned these, uh, these hooks up, uh, these loops there earlier, uh, where you can put a cargo net across there. So it's going to, this package will include that cargo net. Also, it says a rear well rubber mat. So my assumption is, uh, I haven't seen one with this yet, uh, but my assumption is this down here where there's carpet underneath it and goes over that, that tire on the floor there, that's going to be uh, replaced with rubberized uh, area down there. And then also this here, I think it gets replaced by, it says a reversible mat, uh, reversible cargo flooring. So I, I think this flooring gets replaced with a more durable, uh, something you can put in there if you want to put it in this way and turn it over then instead of being carpet on there it's going to be uh, more weatherized for if you want to do some different you know take it off road or something like that or take it out camping and you're going to get it muddy and dirty and that kind of stuff then it'll replace that cargo area so a little bit different but that is again going to be standard or available as optional equipment on a 200 or 202a equipment group so the next package I want to talk to you about is the XLT Sport Appearance Package. Now this package does require to have the 202A equipment group uh, as well as going ahead and adding this package to it. Now, Sport Appearance Package was uh, missing from the 2020 model year. Uh, we did see it in 2019, redesigned in 20, we didn't see it. Uh, it is back this year with a little different twist and look to it. Now the Sport Appearance Package for the XLT will have some gray accents. And the new color for this year is carbonized gray. So you're gonna see a lot of carbonized gray accents. 
around the vehicle here. So first one you're going to see here is on the hood. You're going to have that carbonized gray Explorer lettering here on the hood. I uh, don't see the Explorer lettering except for maybe on the ST. So that's a, a nice upgrade there. Also your grill. Not only is the, the inserts in there, but also the chrome, where it was chrome bars across there are all carbonized gray. So I love the look of the grill. Really adds and blends everything together right there. Also down here, the skid plate, which was we did see was silver accented on the 202A equipment group. It's going to have the carbonized gray up here on the front. Now over here on the side, you're going to see the 20 inch carbonized gray 10 spoke alloy wheel. So great looking wheel, does dress it up, give it a bigger wheel with an all season tire to go along with it. And then right here in the rocker molding, uh, the side molding, you're going to see instead of the chrome accent like we did see in the XLT, uh, now you're going to see the carbonized gray insert right here as well. And then the applique back here is going to also be carbonized gray instead of the silver that we saw earlier, as well as even right here along this is going to be carbonized gray along there, uh, right on top of the molding. And then down here, the skid plate on the back, that element is going to be the carbonized gray, and then you're going to have chrome exhaust tips, the dual exhaust tips back here as well. Now moving to the interior, you're also going to see unique interior. Of course, we did see with the XLT, you get the ebony interior that gets you the ebony seats or the sandstone that gets you those tan seats in the environment. With this one here, this sport appearance package, you're going to get that light slate interior trim. So the uppers is going to be that light slate as well as the inserts and the doors, as well as your seats uh, with the contrast stitching that goes along with that. So you're going to have that slate interior leather seating surfaces because it does require to have the 202A equipment group. Also across here, you're going to see that satin silver finish in most areas, but across the dash, you're going to see a stretched diamond look to it. Uh, so real nice look across the dash, kind of add a given that sport look here on the inside. Um, but also you get the uh, carpeted mats that are going to have that Explorer uh, dedication to it. I uh, have that Explorer uh, embossed uh, on those floor mats as well. So that's, uh, that's something that's upgraded as well with the floor mats. Uh, you do not get the uh, floor liners. is not available with this equipment group uh, because of those nice floor mats you get. So you can get the floor liners with the carpet, but not the floor liners without the carpeted mat. So they want to give you those mats with those dedicated Explorer um, em embroidering on those floor mats. But you, if you want to get the floor liners as well, you can get. You would want to order the floor liners with the carpet mats, and that's how you would get those floor liners. And again, this uh, it does is available on the 202A equipment group, not available on the 200A. Another package that is available is optional equipment as long as you have the 202A equipment group, and that is the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. Now that package does include your adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, speed sign recognition, so, as well as your evasive steering assist and your navigation. So let's break these down for a second. Your adaptive cruise control, uh, that's going to allow you, if you want to put it in adaptive cruise, uh, that it's going to adapt the cruise control based on the vehicles in front of you. So if you come up behind somebody, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until they speed back, they turn, they speed back up or you pass them. Uh, also includes stop and go. So if you get into that situation where you're in rush hour traffic and you slow down completely and then they take off, it'll resume as well and keep you going. Also speed sign recognition means that it recognizes the speed sign. So if you're in a zone that's let's say it's 75 miles per hour and you uh, have yours at a plus five, so you have your adaptive cruise at 80 miles an hour per se, and then let's say that speed sign changes to 70, it's going to slow you down to 75 automatically you don't have to do it it recognizes the speed sign and, and does that for you automatically just love that and then the lane centering so as long as you have that adaptive cruise on it's going to keep you in the center of your lane it is a little different than your adaptive cruise than your lane sensing system sorry uh, so it's going to actually try to keep you in the center of your lane instead of waiting until you get to those lines to bring you back in so lane centering is activated with the adaptive cruise control they all go hand in hand there also the evasive steering assist. So if you're in that situation where you can't stop in time, you need to steer out of the way to avoid that accident. It's gonna help assist you in turning that steering wheel. So the ease of the steering wheel. So uh, evasive steering assist uh, has been out for a couple years now and it is something that can be activated and deactivated in your setting screen, by the way. Some people don't know if they wanna trust that, so they have deactivated on their vehicle. And then of course your navigation system. It's a voice activated navigation system. Uh, gives you the pinch to zoom capabilities, also gives you the Sirius XM traffic and travel link for the first five years. Uh, and it does, I think outside of Alaska,
Alaska and Hawaii there. Um, so rural dice having that on-screen navigation for you uh, and you do have the, the button there for the navigation to go into that and then that the uh, I love the Sirius XM the traffic and travel length as well so you can kind of see weather as it approaches uh, you do have that weather map as well as the different gas stations and the prices and that kind of stuff so uh, this is a great package it's really not an expensive package for what you're getting here uh, but it is a package that was ordered on this particular vehicle with the sport appearance package now that we covered all the different packages, let's talk about standalone options. And that means it's one option that's available on its own. Uh, first, we're gonna talk about uh, standalone options that are available on either the 200A or the 202A equipment group. Now, one of them is your engine block heater. So if you're in a cold weather state, uh, you wanna you know, be, plug that vehicle into your garage, whatever it might be, and keep it warm, especially if your vehicle, and keep that vehicle outside. Engine block heater can be ordered on your vehicle. Also, the front license plate bracket. We talked about that earlier, but I just kind of want to put it in here to let you know. Don't forget, if you're in a state that doesn't require front tag, make sure you get that as an optional equipment. No charge option from the factory there. Also, the uh, inside, I want to talk about the second row seat. So again, we talked about standard equipment as the bucket seats, but you can, as optional equipment, on the 200 or 202A equipment group, get the 3530-35 bench seat up there. So it does replace, of course, the floor console. Still gives you the flexibility. Those seats, I forgot to mention, do slide. Uh, those outside seats forward and back, that would still be all the same. You would just get that middle seat to go in there. So that, that way you could see three in that middle seat, still have two in the back back there. So those are all available. Also your floor mats. You can get the floor liners. They're all weather mats uh, for the fo footwells in the front as well as the second row seat. Uh, you can get those with the carpeted mats because again, they normally the carpeted mats will come standard. If you order the floor liners with the mats, then you get two sets. You'd get a set of carpet as well as all weather. This year's the first year where they actually let, allow you to replace the floor liners with the carpeted mats because there are some people that never even use the carpeted mats. We get them all the time on trade where they order the floor liners and they never use the carpeted mats. So if that's the case, you can go with that option as well. Again, all those are available on the 200 or 202A equipment group. Let's talk about the 202A and some, uh, a couple options are available only on the 200A, not available on the 200 and, or the 202A, not available on the 200A. And one of them is this wheel that we've been talking about. So 20 inch wheel here. Uh, so real, real sharp looking premium uh, painted wheel here. That is available as optional equipment. Of course, that wheel is not available with your sport appearance package. It gets its own 20 inch wheel. And of course, it'll come with an all season tire as well. You can get a self sealing uh, all season tire on the sport appearance package. So it does require to have the 202A equipment group in the sport appearance package, but you can get a self-sealing uh, spare or tire. It's a 20 inch all season tire that would go along with that vehicle. So that wheel there. So that's available too. Also the twin panel moonroof. Twin panel moonroof does require to be a 202A equipment group. It gives you the uh, adjustment for the power sunshade that opens up and the power moonroof as well. And that sunshade does go back. It has two spots. It'll stop halfway or continue back for those in the back to be able to enjoy it as well. Uh, so twin panel moonroof was ordered on this particular vehicle along with these uh, wheels on this 202A equipment group. So now what I want to do is talk about some dealer, some Ford accessories that can be ordered on your vehicle. Uh, and the first one here I want to talk about is actually now going to be installed at the at, at Ford. Uh, usually it used to be shipped ahead and we installed it or the dealership installed it. But now looks like it's going to be a custom uh, pre-installed option. And that is going to be your entertainment system. So if you want that dual headrest uh, entertainment system, they're calling it a rear entertainment, not just a DVD, because you can play DVDs, you can plug in USB port, uh, any kind of stuff on, you have on thumb drives in there. You can also plug in AV cables. So uh, lots of ways for them to stay entertained instead of just a movie or a video there. Uh, so should come with two sets of headphones as well for that. And those, it will replace those front headrest with those instead. And again, now they're looks like it says that they're being pre-installed, which means they're probably gonna be done at the factory. The rest of these here I want to talk about, there are going to be four um, standalone ones, all available on either the 200 or 202A equipment group. Um, and those are going to be installed at the dealer. So they'll be shipped ahead of time to the dealer. Dealer will install them when the vehicle gets there. One of them is a wheel lock kit. 
So if you want to protect these nice 20 inch wheels, whether it be in the sport appearance package wheel or this one, uh, or even the stock wheel, you can get a wheel locking kit. You get one lug nut that's going to be, have a, a lock to it that would replace one of the nuts on each of the wheels. So that can become, a lot of dealers will just put that inside and then you would just, if you want to put that installed, they would go ahead and put that on there. Also the splash guards, you can get splash guards on these too. So if you're going to go off road, you know, go down dirt roads, you don't want those rocks getting kicked up on the side of the vehicle. You can get the splash guards on there, protects it from of course water as well as different rocks and such like that. That's something else you can add. Also the crossbars to these uh, side rails. So if you want the crossbars to put on there, you can get those too. Uh, those are a standalone option too that can be added to the vehicle. Also, you can get a, a cargo mat. So cargo mat can go in the back back there. Usually it's uh, one where you lay the seats down, third row seats down, and it fills up the whole area back there. Uh, but you can get also get a cargo mat. Again, I'll get, try to get images on all these if they're online. Uh, on Ford's website. Uh, but there are also a couple different new packages. Now I want to talk about a couple new accessory packages that are available. These are dealer installed, um, but these are really cool that, uh, you know, Ford has really uh, partnered up with Yakima uh, for some different cargo uh, packages uh, that you can get uh, for your vehicles. Now these do require you to get the floor mats for all three of them. Um, and two of them do not, uh, you cannot get the moonroof with them. So keep that in mind. Uh, so, but you do, you can get these uh, added to your vehicle. So the first one to talk about is the Skybox. Skybox is gonna come with the cargo mat. Uh, of course, all three of these will come with a cargo mat as well as the crossbars. So you're gonna get the crossbars as well uh, for this package and then the Skybox system from Yakima. So you can see it's an enclosed Skybox that goes on top of the cargo rack. Uh, and that way you can put all your belongings in there, especially if you're going to fill up all three rows with uh, passengers, you can get this system will be really good for those long trips. Also the Mega Warrior. Mega Warrior is another one where it would come with the cargo mat. Also it's going to give you the, the crossbars that come with this package um, so that you can put those in there. It does require to get the floor mats. Uh, cannot get the uh, twin panel moonroof with this package. And then it's going to give you a, basically a big basket up there with a net that's going to come along with it to secure those, those luggage and down. So that's another option for you if you don't want an enclosed one. You, this one contains a few more things than, in, than you can fit in the skybox. So that's an option for you as well. And then the bike front loader. This one does allow you to have the twin panel moonroof as an option if you want to. Gives you those two bike carriers with the locks. Uh, of course, does also include the cargo mat as well as the uh, crossbars to go along with that. Uh, does require also all three of these to get to floor liners as optional equipment uh, with your vehicle. So if, if you're putting that in there and you don't see that it's letting you, probably need to add the floor liners and then it'll let you add those options. So a uh, couple different great options now. Uh, Ford is partnering because of the Bronco with Yakima. So they've, they've added this as three different options for you. They are dealer installed. So the dealer would actually put those on your vehicle when the vehicle comes in, but they are ordered from the factory. So that's all your standard equipment, your different equipment groups, your, your optional packages, as well as standalone options and accessories all in one video. So we call it a complete guide. So hopefully we kept up to that promise. Don't forget three year, 36,000 mile warranty from Ford on all their X, Explorer XLTs. Uh, so you're gonna have that warranty. And don't forget you can get these, find these on our website, lawmacarthur.com. We have plenty of inventory there. Also, we have more coming in, but if you want to specially order something, we can do that for you as well. Just, just let them know you saw this video. Uh, we do free shipping as well if you mention this video. So that shipping is up to $1,000. We do ask you to finance the vehicle with us, and that's how we are able to take care of that. We don't want that cost incurred onto you, but if you plan on to finance the vehicle anyway, you can have it shipped right to your door. You don't have to, you don't have to go into a dealership. Uh, you can also make sure you get a vehicle order the way you want it to from a dealership knows their product delivered right to your door uh, and don't have to have any shipping costs that way. So it is up to $1,000 and does require you to finance a vehicle with us here. And also don't forget, you can check out our website, lawmacarthur.com for inventory, as well as any of uh, these videos will be on there. You can also call or send us a text message. We have coordinators that can help you out, answer any questions you might have. Uh, and handle any of these, uh, these uh, systems that we have. If you want to go ahead and special order something, they can help you out there as well, right there on our website. So hopefully you really enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button, put your comments down below. I love getting that feedback uh, so I can help these videos get better and better. Uh, smash that like button. 
Also, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, hit that red subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Again, uh, thank you again for watching this video. We are on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So you can follow us there, whatever is your favorite there. You can see updated news, specials, whatever we have going on in the community as well, right there so you can see what kind of uh, dealership you, we have here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. So thanks for watching this video. Till the next one, we'll see you later.